load up the bed with all the shit I need, and I can drive this across country with no roads. 100%, guaranteed. Lewis and Clark style. What is up guys, it's Nick Badger back again with another video, this time on the Ram T-Rex. Okay, this thing is insane. So I am fortunate enough to be reviewing and driving this car thanks to this guy right here, Giannis Las Manas, the Latvian legend. Giannis owns Corsair Detail uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee and they cater to a bunch of high-end clients. One of his longtime luxury clients uh, just got this truck and obviously wants it ceramic coated. So we coated it. Giannis was actually shooting his own video on it and needed help driving it back to the shop. So I had the pleasure of taking it on the highway, uh, driving this thing and putting it through the paces. So it's pretty amazing. I was pretty pumped to do it. And uh, here's what it looked like. Uh, first impressions on this thing are great. Uh, I like how high up you sit. I tend to drop my seat down all the way and it's eh, it's not all the way there. There is all the way down and I could drive like that as well. Um, so that being said, I, I do like the seating position overall. I like the leather wrapped appointments and the suede lined kind of steering wheel here and suede lined here. This is This is nice. 702 horsepower, just in case you forget, folks. Oh, supercharger, boost 11 PSI, V8 motor, Hemi. You've got launch control, you've got paddle shifters, you've got gauge cluster that's just massive, but you've also got manual steering setup, which is fine, just this price point would be nice if it was electronic, but hey, I'll give it to them. Shave the weight. I like the shifter. Shifter sits nice right here. Sport mode apparently turns off traction control. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm sure it'll be good. It'll be fine. Oh, well, yep, yeah, that's got some pickup. Oh, wow. I feel like I need to get a little closer to the steering wheel. This is. Oh, baby. It goes where I put it, and it responds when I give it something to respond to. Let's play around with these uh, paddle shifters, eh? These are the weirdest shifters I've ever felt. They are odd. You have an upper and a lower. Traction control is off. We're in fifth gear. Paddle shifters are initiated. And this thing's responsive. You feel the weight, for sure. You definitely feel like it's a heavy car, and it is just a dodge. I mean, you hear the wind coming in, you hear the engine all the time, you hear everything around you. It's not a quiet cabin, but I would trade all the quietness in the world for this level of performance out of a vehicle of this size. With the versatility that you get out of this, it's definitely in a, in a different class but I would much rather have this over any of the Ford Raptors. Even the older V8 still have this. This is just raw and angry. You know, don't, don't let the, the rawness of the exterior and the graphics and the engine sound and the supercharger and the specs all fool you. This is comfortable, extremely comfortable. Uh, I could definitely do any number of road trips in this car. I would thoroughly enjoy them. You now the seating position, is great, the seats suck. The amount of adjustment and support I can get on the seats could be way better. Outside of the seats sucking, this car is great. Load up the bed with all the shit I need and I could drive this across country with no roads. 100%, guaranteed. Lewis and Clark style. The suspension feels indestructible. It really does, it feels amazing. I like this thing. I shouldn't, but I do. I am ready to embrace the truck life. Totally ready. Oh yeah. I'll throw some fishing rods in the back, call it a day. Hey y'all, it's Nick here. Do you need to lube up your lug nuts? Two weeks from now, I might be installing drywall. I might run an, a drywall installation business. Cause in this thing, you don't care about shit. Dodge's marketing for this is spot on. 
and there is no more fun truck you can buy. This truck really does feel like I'm supposed to be towing the fishing boat that I just bought at about 110 miles an hour down the highway. I absolutely love it. The engine is nowhere near necessary, but it's incredible. The suspension, everything about it, I absolutely love this car. It's a beast.